Hello, this is Mr. Bandy, and I'm getting ready to do another video from videos from Bandy. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to um, dimension and annotate the cube. So what I'm going to start off with now is I'm going to come up here to the annotate, and I'm going to go ahead and put the titles in for the for each view. So I'm going to click on text, and I select where I want the text and I want to type in top oops one other thing is that it needs to be in all caps forgot to tell you that top view and I want this underlined also and I want to change the the, the size of it to point one five, and there it is. I'm going to go ahead and just do all my titles while I'm, while I'm here. You notice it's in all caps. Oops, I didn't underline it, did I? I'll come back and do that here in a second. I hit the escape key on my keyboard and now I'm out of the text uh, command. I highlight the text, underline it, boom, and I fix that. Okay, now I am ready to add the dimensions so that we know the size of the cube in case we want to send this cube off for somebody to work on it or build it or construct it. We need to know where everything's at, like the holes, the size of the hole, this little protrusion, the size of it, and also with the square protrusion. So I'm going to go to dimension. I'm going to move this down just a little bit so that I can uh, get another dimension up here on the top. Oops, that's not the hole. The hole's up there. So see if we can move this. There we go. That's the hole. This is actually the, the ram protrusion. So I can do a leader to it. I 
I hit enter and that's when this pops up. that and hit escape. It's going to do something different here. Go ahead and go from the center. I do believe I have most of this dimensioned out. Uh, I can. I've located the the extension. I guess probably I need to come up here and also dimension out the hole right here. So I can move stretch this on out. What I do is grab the text, move this on out, grab this text, move it out, line that up with it. hit the escape button so I can cancel out of the dimension and I'm going to move this kind of out of the way a little bit here can move this over here a little bit move this down then I can go ahead and finish dimensioning the hole and what I'm doing here is when I select like close to the hole and then I can come in here and it'll grab the center line. I want to grab that end point. Bam. So now I have uh, I have the overall overall size of the cube. I have the size of the extension. I have the size of the extension here. I've also noted the size of this extension and I've noted the size of the square extension over here. Last but not least, I'm going to put my name in here. the date it'd be simple enough if you just put April 2015 and then the period I have the escape button and it'll take me out of the text I can move this around a little bit here if I need to
There we go. I'm going to save it. And then I'm also going to export into a PDF file. And I can save it cube drawing. I'm going to save it out on my home drive. And guess what? I can then attach this in Evernote and send it to Mr. Bandy. And you would do that the same way as you attached the, uh, the picture of the cube, the first attachment that you did. And I think that'll do it. This is the drawing that you would be, you would complete and attach an Evernote and send it to Mr. Bandy. And you will always have that attachment in your Evernote account if you remember your password and your login. Thank you. And until next time, hasta la vista.